Good morning, students. Today we are going to start Chapter Fifty Three, Fractions and Decimal Squares, and Chapter Fifty Four, Figure It Out. Let's start with Chapter Fifty Three, Fractions and Decimal Squares. Chapter Fifty Three, Fractions and Decimal Squares. In this one, we have to find out which is the larger number. So there are some fractions and decimal numbers are given. in which we have to find which fraction and which decimal number are greater so first question is 1 upon 12 or 1 upon 14 so i have solved question here how you will solve this first you have to find out this 14 into 1 so first you have to multiply these two numbers first numerator and second denominator so 14 into 1 is 14 secondly you will multiply this 12 into 1 so 12 into 1 is 12 this is cross multiply in which first we will multiply this denominator second and this numerator first so this multiplication is 14 times 1 14 and the second one 12 times 1 is 12 now here 14 is greater one from 12 and 14 jo hai hamara is fraction ke sath mein aata that means that means this fraction is greater one so here 1 upon 12 is greater from 1 upon 14 next is decimal numbers 0.5 or 0.65 now see 0.5 and 0.65 if we see after decimal point the digit is 5 and here after decimal point the digit is 6 and we all know Six digit is greater than five, so here zero point six five is the greater decimal number from zero point five. Question number three, zero point two or zero point zero two, or if we can see after decimal point here it is two and after decimal point here it is zero, so zero point two will be greater one. In question number four, five upon seven or five upon six. so again we have to cross multiply the numbers first we will multiply this denominator second one and this numerator first one so 6 into 5 is 30 and then 7 into 5 is 35 and as we can see 35 is greater one from 30 and this 35 comes in this place in this fractions place that means 5 upon 6 is the greater fraction So here, five upon six fraction is greater one. In question number five, one point zero five or one point five zero. Here it is one point zero five, and here it is one point five zero. Now, if we can see after decimal point, here it is zero, and after decimal point, here it is five. And we all know from zero and five, five is greater one. Hence. 1.50 is the greater decimal number. In question number six, 0.112 or 0.121. So after decimal point, here it is 112. That means 112 we can say. And after decimal point here 121. In normal we in normal we can say 121. So 121 is greater than 112 hence 0.121 decimal number will be greater so similarly we can solve for fractions and decimal numbers and we can find out which is the larger fraction number or which is the larger decimal numbers next moving to chapter 54 figure it out in this one we have to find out the word If a is one, e is five, i is nine, l is twelve, n is fourteen, o is fifteen, r is eighteen, and t is twenty, then use the clues to figure out the answer. So in this chapter, some statements are given. and here some coding is given and we can decode it by these alphabets 
so first question is the word made up by letters 18120 means a small creature often called mouse so here 18 is r so we will write r 1 is a so we will write a and 20 is t so we will write this t so the answer is rat a small creature often called mouse is rat similarly question 2 the word made up by letters 14 1 9 12 is a covering that grows on the back of our fingers and toes so we have to decode these numbers 14 is for n 1 is a 9 is i l is 12 so the answer is nail which is a covering that grows on the back of our fingers and toes question number 3 the word made up by letters 21 9 12 is what animals like dogs and cats have at the end of their body so 20 is t 1 is a 9 is i and 12 is l and the answer is tail tail is what animals like dogs cats have at the end of their body Fourth, the word made up by letters fourteen, five, one, eighteen means the opposite of far. So fourteen n five e one a eighteen r. The answer is near, which is the opposite of far. Question number five, the word made up by letters five, one, twenty. What we do when we are hungry? So for five, it's e. One is a. Twenty is t. The answer is e. Question number six is the word made up by letters twelve, nine, fifteen, fourteen is called the king of bees. So who is the king of bees? Twelve l nine i fifteen o fourteen and the answer is lion. Seven, the word made up by letters twenty five fourteen twenty is what people live in when they are camping, and the answer is tent. For twenty, it is t five e fourteen n twenty t. Question number eight, the word made up by letters eighteen one nine fourteen. describes what falls from the sky during monsoons so for 18 it is r for 1 it is a for 9 it is i for 14 it is n and the answer is rain i hope you enjoyed these chapters so keep learning thank you